Hi, this is the Rigol DP832, which uh, EEV blog did a video about. Um, one of the interesting things about it is that it has a common negative rail for channels 2 and 3. Um, so I thought that was fine. Uh, and then I was watching the EEV blog video, which I've linked below, and I noticed that there seemed to be uh, the, the current sense resistors seem to be on the ground side, on the negative rail, rather than the positive rail. So it looked like the circuit looked something like this, with uh, two 20 milliohm resistors, that's what you know, it, it showed up in the video as, they were marked as 20 milliohms, and just looking at how they were wired up and the colours on the plug above the resistors, it looks like they are on the negative side. Now, if you were to short out the wires down here, then the current could choose to go through either resistor and it wouldn't work. Um, but even if you shorted it up here, you could connect your load from channel 3 plus across to channel 2 minus and the power supply would be confused because it would think that the current is being consumed in channel 2 rather than channel 3. So. I was planning to make a big video saying, watch out boys and girls, you know, if you wire things up in a funny way, the, the power supply is going to get confused. But then, in reality, it seems that it doesn't get confused like that at all. This, this problem that I'm inventing doesn't actually exist. And really, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how those resistors do seem to really be on the negative rails, maybe, but when you try and trick the power supply by doing weird things like connecting from channel 3 plus to channel 2 minus, it still performs flawlessly. And I just don't understand what kind of topology behaves in the way that this one does. So I'm just going to jump right in. Yep. Turn it on first. So the first test to do is to pump about an amp through one negative terminal, so there it is, through one negative terminal and out the other. Now because the current is going to go up one resistor, presumably through some sort of common ground link and down the other, we're expecting 40 milliohms resistance, which means 40 millivolts in total. And what do we get? We get... ...37. Pretty much 40 milliohms. So that seems to confirm it, right? We can draw a little wire link here now. Even though it turns out this will be wrong. Seems to confirm that the current goes and gets measured and then there's the common ground. So then I thought, aha, how about I turn on these two supplies Yeah. Get rid of that. So this, I have my hand here, it's probably almost invisible, is a two point to what is this? 2.2k? That can't be it. No, it's 22 ohms. Right, so when we put that in there, connect it up, we see 0.1 ohms measured by the power supply, which is absolutely what you would expect. 2.2 volts over 22 ohms is a tenth of an amp. So what happens if I now connect this resistor from channel 3 plus across to channel 2 minus, we would expect the current to go through the channel 2 sense resistor. So I was fully 100%, especially after doing this test where I showed that the uh, resistance between the two negative terminals was 40 milliohms, I was fully expecting the current through here to cause the current measurement to appear on channel 2 in the display, not channel 3. But in reality, and I 
And there you go. It works exactly as you would expect. Well, exactly as you would hope. Um, the current is being displayed on the correct channel. It's saying the current is coming out of channel 3 plus. It's not reporting the fact that the channel is going into channel 2 minus. And, yeah, I mean, I don't know. How can that be? I mean, I suppose the current measurement is really happening on the positive terminals, and these resistors that appear to be on the negative terminals are for some other purpose. But, yeah, I won't say, I won't demonstrate it, but I've, I've tried the overcurrent protection and uh, the regulation. You might think they're actually the regulation <coughs> uh, bit. So if we wind this down, you might expect that the current won't actually reduce because in the DP832, the current display on the screen and the current regulation are done completely separately, I believe. So that's why I'm checking these two things. But again, when I tell it to only put out 50 milliamps or 60 milliamps or so, on channel 3, that's exactly what it does, even though the current is being returned to channel 2 minus. So finally the other test that I decided to do was to short out channels uh, 3, or channel 3, short it out with a wire link, pump 3 amps through there, and what we would expect is that as the current went up through this resistor, we would get a 60 millivolt drop across it, and then because no current was flowing through channel 2, we could then observe the voltage here and we should see a 60 millivolt drop between these two. So we would see effectively zero volts and negative 60 millivolts here. But again, as we will see, my attempts to thwart the system have failed. So, get three amps. What am I missing? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. So, again, you might hope to see 60 millivolts across there, but you don't. It's absolutely zero, just as if it was a connected wire bar. So, I've been thinking about this and I just can't figure out why this would be. You might expect that there's not actually a wire link here. You might think that there's something going on where the current flows through the, the sense resistor and then some sort of system observes that voltage and then goes and modifies some variable linear load up here so that if this resistor has a slightly higher voltage drop across it then this resistance here will drop, or this one will increase, such that the voltage drop from here to here is the same as the voltage drop from here to here. Um, but that doesn't make sense, because then we wouldn't see that 40 milliohm impedance between the two negative terminals. Um, and yeah, I've thought of all sorts of other models, but none of the topologies that I can think of match all three observations that we've seen so far. That's a 40 milliohm impedance between the negative terminals when you pump another current through them. But apart from that, a system which behaves completely perfectly in every other way. The only... Yeah, no. No, I just can't see it. So, uh, if anyone out there has any ideas on a circuit schematic that would exhibit this sort of behavior then please do leave a comment below um, and also if you have uh, another non-isolated power supply of a different make or model uh, I would be really interested to see if you do the same sort of experiment whether you see some significant resistance across these two terminals and uh, if you do the other tests as well anyway thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below see you